This is Code.org. I'm currently working on their CS Discoveries course. I'm on Unit 3 Animation and Games, Lesson 19 Functions, Part 8. Let's see what we're doing. Creating functions to organize code. In Game Lab, all the action is happening in the draw loop, but too much complex code makes it really confusing to read. To keep your draw loop easy to read, use functions for larger chunks of code. You can call them inside the draw loop and define them below. This is a really good example of using abstraction to think about problems at high at a higher level and worry about the details later. All right? So you can show how something works through the problem and then call the functions that do those little side pieces to the problem. Do this. This program should draw a daytime scene or a nighttime scene, depending on the location of the mouse. The draw loop describes what needs to happen, but one function hasn't been written yet. Oh no, write the draw night function, which, uh, which has been created but empty. Hint, look at the picture to the right for how your night image should look. Can you use draw day function to help? you uh to help you at all let's see oh it doesn't do anything yet do we not call the functions all right let's go Zoop. Uh, draw night draw day oh this is our draw function oh yep got it there's day okay and draw night has nothing all right let's look at their day though hmm Oops. So it looks like it's all the same, but the colors are just a bit different. Huh. Can we... Hmm. these random ellipses okay so first what i'm going to do is i'm going to say show text because instead of copying that all i'm going to use copy paste because it's the same scene it is just darker so i right clicked copy to right click if you're on a laptop or a chromebook um you want to separate your two fingers click down at the same time after highlighting it and then select copy and then i just select right clicked and clicked paste Okay. Now for the sky, this sky is not what I want. Not really sure what the color is going to be. Wish. How dark is theirs? Ooh, theirs is very dark. Hmm. Well, so their sky is not as dark as their water though let's go i know this is the blue number so let's try 155 20. whoa oh that's looking better here let's try 155 15. okay I'm liking that. So I'm going to use 2015, maybe 20, I don't know, 8. I'm liking that. That's pretty dark if you ask me. All right, but the water has to be even darker. So for the water, where's my water? Here. This is the fill color, not the reflection color. Okay, so I'm going to say... try this oh definitely not that's too purple hmm all right I'm thinking of making this zero let's do that zero I want this to be zero I want 
But uh, this to be like 30. Yeah, let's do. Oops, 140. And when, let's try this. Oh, I'm liking that. All right, that is close to me. And now I need to have the moon be gray or just be darker. But that's kind of a gray color. Okay, so that we can do. Let's see. Let's go down here. That's the sun. Hey, hey. watch this. I'm going to call it moon now. Okay. And again, I could be doing this in blocks too. Here, I'll flip back over. Really, what I wanted to do was copy and paste the text. All right. And so now I'm going to change up this color to make it gray. So gray, yeah, I know it's around like, I think it's 192 for a silvery gray. 192, 192, 192. Let's try that. Ah, oh, that might be a bit grayer than this. Let's try 1, 2. I'm going to go down a bit. Let's try 130, 130, 130 maybe? That looks pretty close to me. Cool. So let's go ahead and zoop. Again, what I did right off the bat is I copied and pasted. I right-clicked and I clicked copy then paste. I'm going to just... And that made this all much easier for me. I copied the day code and I pasted it here. And then I made adjustments to the color. That's super cool. Eh? Awesome. Let's keep going. 